every night he rides! Ride! 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 Thank you for supporting our program and coming to see our show. I'd also like to ask you, please turn off your cell phones, no photos or videos during the performance. I'd also like to thank our principal, Dr. Sher, and our set designer, Mr. Rydell. Also, our cast and crew for all of their hard work and dedication. Uh, finally, I'd also like to thank our parents for all the love and support. There will be a 10-minute intermission between Acts 1 and 2, and there will be refreshments sold in the back. Hello, I'm Ashan Singh, and I'm the other victim. Our theater program has been a successful program for many years. We are the only middle school in all of Fresno that offers an all-day forensics and theater program, which has been existing for the past three years. Now, there are two stages in our theater program. In the first stage, students will learn how to become successful actors while learning many theatrical techniques and elements such as projecting, pacing, and storytelling. Then the second stage is how to become a successful director. Students will learn how to become successful leaders in drama and will learn many projection skills. Moving on, um, we also offer a forensics and stagecraft class. If possible, please feel free to, to buy a $10 sponsorship to support our forensics and stagecraft team. If you have any questions about our program, feel free to ask us or Mrs. Hibbler after the end of the show. Now, before we begin, I'd like to point out that everything you will see and hear is student built. Our students have worked extremely hard and have dedicated themselves to make this show the best show we've ever had. So thank you for coming and enjoy the show. Do not think I am a soft touch, Mrs. Clark. No. Ah, ha, ha. 
Yes, a splendid dancer I may be, and light on my feet, most certainly. But I am a firm believer in the old saying, spare the rod, spoil the child. Now, people, we do not want our children spoiled. Now, do. <laughs> Look, I told you, no one does it, no one crosses the threshold until I, Brom Bones, does it. Everyone waits for you to arrive. They're probably standing there like statues, probably not even moving, probably not even breathing. <sighs> Idiot! How fun! Come on, you two rat bags. Brombones is so handy. He's got the manners of a wounded bear. He's been courting Katrina Van Tassel since the summer. She hasn't been seen with anyone else. No, I heard Brom scared of every boy in the valley. I heard he pummel anyone else who courted her. Can you imagine if someone tried to ask her to dance tonight? Maybe the school teacher will. Maybe the school teacher will ask for to dance. <laughs> Brom won't like it if someone gets in his way. The school teacher wouldn't stand a chance. How do you know? Oh, maybe there'll be a fight tonight. Let's get a good seat. So, how are you enjoying our parts of the world, Mr. Crane? Very well, Mr. Van Tassel. Very well indeed. And I'm quite taken care of by all the families in the area. I stay with the, um, oh, the Clausens this coming week. <laughs> and then on to the Van Hoodens. <laughs> Mr. Clausen told me just yesterday you helped them. Ah, uh, yes. Any, anything I can do to be of assistance. One must be grateful to one's lodger. And I must thank you for including me this evening. Your home is so spacious. You're situated in quite a prosperous little nook. Ah, Mrs. Van Tassel, I'm having the most splendid evening. Have you met my daughter, Katrina? This is Mr. Crane, the new schoolmaster. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Crane. Pleased to meet you. I was just telling your father how spacious the land is in here. And vast and abundant. It's such a meadow. Whoever wins over the heart of your daughter, Mr. Van Tassel, will be very lucky indeed, for Katrina is such a sweet girl. May I have the pleasure of this dance? I would be most honored, sir. Look at that book. She is dancing with a school teacher. Maybe she's just being polite. <laughs> Look at Bron's face. Hey, Bron, who's that dancer with Katrina? What? Who? Who is that? Pipsqueak. It's the new school teacher. What's she doing dancing with him? Oh, come on. You can't beat up the school teacher. Why not? You just can't. Oh. All right, then. What's his name? Dick Gabon. Crane. He's so smart, bro. The only person smarter than us is the other. Marcy. Ichabod Crane. Ha! We'll see about that, Ichabod Crane. Boris, I would 
Don't you ever get frightened? Telling stories by the fire is one thing when everyone's around. But when I'm alone, a tree branch waving in the wind makes you think that there are ghosts and goblins around every turf. It sends shivers down my spine. Do ghost stories scare you, Mr. Crane? Oh, um, well, uh... Head to toe in frost. 
If you're looking for a chill down in the hollow behind the hill, if you listen the wind so bleak, you will hear her blazing tree. <laughs> Now we can't tell hollow stories without the most famous of them all. The Headless Horseman. In the hollow by the oak trees and the grapevines. Never stop at midnight. Never! And if you find yourself there when the clock strikes well. Never look behind you. Never! Never look behind you if you hear the horses hop or the hot breath on your neck or the snort of a goblin steed. This, this is the ride of the headless horseman. He lost his head to a cannonball and they buried the body with them. Headless.
that scare you, Mr. Craig? <laughs> oh, oh, well. It scared no, me. No, no. They were all wonderful stories. Next time I will have a few hair racing tales of my hometown in Connecticut. Ooh! Have you ever heard of the, uh, the ghost who leaves wet headphones on the rocks of sailors? No. Next time, ghost. Ah. Katrina, running away so soon. I live here. <laughs> yes. Surely you're not running away. It's House is so expensive. There are so many places to go. A lot of places to hide if you want to. Go. I suppose. Good night, Mr. Crane. Shall I see you tomorrow for another singing lesson? I can come in and fall. I enjoy it here ever so much. Oh, I don't think so. What? I don't think I'm interested in seeing you anymore. Thank you anyway. What? You've been most kind to me. I've had so many enjoyable lessons with you, but I've learned to take up quilting. What? I'm sure I'll see you at the next dance, Mr. Crane. Farewell. Oh, what? <laughs> what about her dying? And, and what about the land? <gasps> Just like that she... <laughs> Something the matter, Mr. Crane? No, no problem. Uh, everything is just uh, fine now. Must be going. <laughs> Farewell, school teacher. Have a nice walk home.
There are no goats, no goblins, and especially no headless. That's all. Sweet is the body, spring of love. 